Hi there, uh, here's a quick video on how to replace a controller in an Avian Rides Atom. Uh, first thing you do is take off the left panel below. So there's going to be five screws on top, four below. Next up, a M10 socket. This is a Suron seat, so same bolt pattern, same uh, studs coming off the bottom of the seat. There's one, two, three, four. Uh, the rear ones are pretty darn easy, the front ones are a little tricky. Next step, uh, turn the key, pop out the battery, and then this will give you access to... Oh, uh, we'll check on that soon. Next, with a metric 3 Allen wrench, you're going to pull off the battery tray. And then there are cutouts for the 10 millimeter socket to get the front two studs and pull off the nuts. Alright, once the four bolts are removed from the studs, you're going to shimmy this out. The studs are binding on the metal, so you kind of tap, push, pull. And then finally, you're going to get access to uh, M4 metric Allen wrenches to go down in here and pull off this little uh, shield. Okay, once the screws have all fallen on the ground, you've got to shimmy, pull this off. And now you have access to your controller, which is, believe it or not, just sitting in there. Uh, that's why this sandwich is down. Uh, it holds it quite, quite strong. Uh, you're going to have to cut a zip tie here. Uh, your controller may or may not have an XT90, which is a larger plug, or an XT60. Um, so it's important for us to know which controller you have. Our first, second, or third batch uh, had different size controller connectors. Everything else is the same, including the internals of the controller, which is a 30 amp you also need to cut a zip tie here on the communication wire going up to the display and then the motor wire connectors are also different on some generations but they still plug in and then reassemble in the reverse direction Green's gonna go to green, yellow's gonna go to yellow. These are the motor wires. Blue's gonna go to blue. Everything else is the same style connector. Uh, we will be including some zip ties. You honestly do not need them. This is just a super fail safe. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your repair.